Hey, Justin Beasley here. First off, I want to start out by congratulating you. Congratulating you for what I feel like is the best decision that you could have made for your life. Yes, for your life. And the intro video that you seen yesterday was absolutely incredible, right? Absolutely amazing. I know. <laughs> I made it. But anyway, so first thing we're going to talk about really in this first part video of activating your life is really becoming the person that you're meant to become. Now, that's a big deal because a lot of times what I find is that people, they portray something that they're not. They portray something they're not, and because of that, they can't really become the person that they're meant to be. And I'm actually going to start this out by sharing a story with you. My mom's in the military, so I've traveled all over the place. I've never been in one place for more than three to five years, except really for, you know, me being in college now, which I graduated March 2nd. I've been there for about four and a half years. Really the longest place I've been in a very long time. But I remember traveling at all of these places and going to four different high schools five times and having to pick up where I left off at these different schools. But I wasn't really comfortable a lot of times at these new schools. So what I would used to do was just go in the bathroom and I used to hide right before school started. You know, I really didn't have friends when I first was there and, and all these things. But every time I went to a new school, I did very well and I had a lot of success. But it wasn't until I broke out of my comfort zone that I was able to step out into greatness. You know, even taking another look at my life 13 months ago, 13 months ago, realizing, you know, I was face to face with an issue that I had. I was addicted to alcohol, I had an addiction, and it was actually several years building up to that point. But I was stressed out, I was stressed out about school, I wasn't doing very well there, I was stressed out about business. At the time I was a party promoter, doing all this traveling, you know, throwing parties and concerts, trying to keep up with, you know, the entertainment lifestyle had a lot of things going on back at the house, you know, and so I used to, you know, go home and drink, you know, away my problems at nighttime, and it started not to just affect myself, but the other people around me, and a lot of people still to this day don't know about this, but they will now after watching this video, but it wasn't until 13 months ago, I got pulled over one night, and I got a DWI, I was humiliated, I was embarrassed about what had happened. But the next day I looked myself in the face and I realized that I had a problem. I realized I had an issue and I had to do something about it to change it. And when I got over this lie in my life that I was holding back for myself, thinking it was okay for me to do this, and I was affecting my life, I was affecting everyone else around me. When I got over this lie, I was truly able to become who I was destined to be. So my question to you is what lie are you holding back in your life? What thing are you holding back from yourself that's stopping you from becoming who you are. You know, realizing that God loves me regardless, that no matter the mistakes that I've made, no matter the things I've done in my past, that He still loves me, He still uses me on a daily basis to help impact people. That for you, He still loves you. He's, he's ready to use you now. He's ready for you to begin to impact the lives of so many people. Oh my God, you have no idea the incredible things that you can do. Realizing that your past no longer can be a burden because you shift that thing into a blessing. Realizing that there was purpose in your past, but you're not making it your palace. No matter what you've been through, it was the training for everything that you're getting ready to do. That was incredible. And so now, I ask you, you know, what can you give up? What lie in your life? What thing you're not comfortable with? Even if you've been abused, even if you found yourself you know, in a situation where you grew up and you've been around a, a certain environment all your life. You found yourself maybe, you know, having the same addiction as me or something similar or just being in a bad position. You know, what can you give up that's holding you back from keeping you from where you need to go? Not necessarily where you want to go, but where you need to go. You know, a lot of things start with forgiving. Not just other people, but ourselves. You know, I had to forgive myself for what I put myself through. But I understood that it was just a trial, it was just a test for me to have a testimony in which I'm sharing with you now. I want to see you begin to live your dreams. Go after your dreams and your goals and help you every step of the way while you do that. What are you holding on to? Are you willing to let that go? Are you willing to let this thing go to really get to where God has for you? I'm telling you, it's not worth it. It's not worth holding on to those things. Let it go. Let it go. And you'll realize that it's your time. It's your time. 
And so it's time for you to become the person that you're meant to be. It's time for you to become that person that you're destined to be. Let's make it happen today. Look, I'm telling you, I'm excited about the rest of this series. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm going to be sharing with you real things that happened in my life. How I was able to overcome these things to become the person I'm meant to become, all right, and activate completely my life. How I've been able to attract the right people in my life. How I've been able to attract money into my life. How I've been able to attract success effortless, effortlessly. I'm not going to sit here and and act like that I have everything together. No, I work my butt off every day to get where I want to go. That's what it takes. It takes going all out. It takes going all out. Massive action to make the things happen that you want to happen. And I'm, I'm not going to get into video number two, but I want you to stay connected. I want you to check your Facebook, check your Twitter, check your email. These videos are going to be incredible. And everything around you is going to begin to shift. It's going to begin to shift. Just by watching this, it's going to begin to shift. I release it to you now. It's going to begin to shift. And you're going to realize how much closer you are to where you want to be. Click the link at the bottom of this video. Click the link. I want to personally team up with you. I want to work with you. I want to help you become the best person that you can. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. This is Justin. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.